welcome Jessica Lady Ada. Hey. This is live. This is live. I just forgot to put my microphone on. Yeah. Um, welcome to Tariff Town, Population U. I know. It's been a very exciting um, week. So we yeah. don't actually have a desk of Lady Ada. I do want to tell people, check out our long segment Tariff Talk. We're going to also have it this week, Wednesday, um, during Ask Engineer. Um, yeah, we'll have more. We're going to have, an, not as long, but we'll have an updated tariff talk because stuff is updating constantly. We're seeking solid ground in these shaky times. There's not really. So I didn't get much engineering done this week because I'm still dealing with tariff stuff. Um, but I thought I would just save it for next week and instead we'll go straight into the Great Search, which is also tariff related. That's right. Since tariffs are going to be part of our lives uh, with a giant store and selection from DigiKey, how do you know which ones have tariffs or not? There's free trade zones, all these things. Let's go to the Great Search. Find out more. Where in the world is that part I need? The Great Search with DigiKey. The Great Search with Lady Ada, brought to you by DigiKey. Thanks, DigiKey. Every week, Lady Ada uses her power of engineering to help you. Yes, you find the things on DigiKey, but now she's putting on an additional hat, a hat on a hat. And, you know, double hat. it's like all double about hat. the bill of materials. It now matters when you get it, where you get it, where yeah. it's made, all sorts of things because things can change too. Yes. So. Okay. So, um, you know, it's funny. It's like you do, we do this video and we'll see like it might, things might change by the time we, we finish the broadcast. But um, we did this tariff talk on Wednesday doing Ask Engineer. This Wednesday, Ask Engineer will do an updated tariff talk because things have changed. Um, regardless of, um, okay, so so there's, there's two things about tariffs. One is things that the executive branch of the US government says, and then there's the actual implementation um, when it comes to when the tariffs are applied. So what I'm saying is that like I import stuff like let's say i'm importing espressif modules could you know i'm using them on a, on a design right now um espressif modules are made in mainland china they are tariffed under a you know flat 20 percent tariff percentage um, that applies to everything from china and then depending on the mood of whoever sets policy um last week was 125 percent extra now it's there's no extra, so and maybe, but maybe it's twenty five percent. It's a little unclear. So you know what tariff code you use really matters. It also matters whether you're the importer of record. So like I import stuff directly for Adafruit, so I pay the tariff. If you're buying from something like DigiKey, DigiKey is is interesting because it's a free trade zone um, that they've established. And what that means is that if you are a European or Asian or South Pacific, whatever. Uh, not USA uh, country or territory, and you're buying components from DigiKey and you're logged in, you're going to not see some of this tariff extra stuff. So if you're like, how come I don't see it? Well, if you're in the UK, you're not going to see it. This is only if you're logged in and your address is a USA address. So for this to apply, don't forget, you will have to log in. I don't know if it assumes you're American if you don't have an account, but I, I'm always logged in anyways. Um, and... Like I said, the tariffs changed. Like a few weeks ago, it was 10%, and now it seems to be 20% flat. It also does matter on how the item, um, what tariff code is used for the item, and there's like exemptions and stuff. But as of like right now, it seems like many electronic components are exempted, not necessarily tools. So like soldering irons, um, you know, power supplies might not be exempted, but components are. And so I'll show you a situation where the component price might be affected by tariffs, also how to use some of the tariff tools that are built into DigiKey Search now. So I want to like search for a generic I squared C temperature sensor. Because um, yeah, I thought this was a good example. And um, going to sensors, you know, they have 1,200 options. We're going to do the normal thing where we say, Okay, we only want active ones. I squared C is already selected. Um, and let's just say, you know, normally stocking. And one thing you can do, as you see here, there's a new thing. 
You can exclude tariff products. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to exclude marketplace just to make it because marketplace is also going to be tariffed differently because it's shipping from a different location. So it tariffs might already be applied. So let's look at, um, let's just you know, sort by price. And you'll notice for many chips are not made, sorry, are not, they don't finish their packaging in mainland China, but a lot do. Uh, and especially the less expensive stuff, usually. Um, most, there's some silicon is, is like made there, but it often is packaged and finished, you know, in the Philippines or sometimes in um, Thailand. Sometimes it's in the USA, sometimes it's Canada, sometimes it's France. But you'll notice that these products here, um, that, that uh, the first four, what I um, sort by price, tariff may apply when shipping to the United States. So if I add this one, for example, and let's say I add 100 pieces, at 100 pieces, it's 22 cents. And then I didn't empty my cart, so let me actually, we'll go to my cart and then I'll delete everything so you can see. Hold on. My internet is being tariffed. It's 20% slower. Uh-oh. Okay. Um, okay, so this was that last week's INMPI, and I was... Are you on an apple? And Ap then apples are chairs free. Why is it being a little sluggish? Oh, okay, man. who knows? Right. I want to delete me. these things I was looking at earlier because I was actually like looking to see what was was uh, maybe tariffed and what wasn't. This these two things weren't. I'll delete these. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Um, so for these two items, I guess mentioning espressive chips. So espressive chips, um, if you look here, they don't give you the percentage, but, and it does matter what it is. For example, this item is tariffed 20% because 20% times about $30 is $6. And this one is tariffed 10%. One thing I've asked you to do is maybe like show what percentage. The thing is it, it does change kind of every day or two, but in general, it's gonna be 10 to 20%. So knowing that, if we go back to our search results and um, yeah, we sorted. One thing you'll note is not everything is always tariffed. Also different family members are not necessarily tariffed. So for example, what I found really interesting is that this one, the, the TMP175, this particular one is tariffed, but this, N version, which maybe has, yeah, it has a slightly different, it's um, a slightly different temperature range is not. So one thing you might do if you want to avoid tariffs, I think, you know, we talked a lot about this during the chip shortage is um, look for variants, like drop in variants, the like temperature variants, voltage variants, um, chips in the same family that might be in stock. Like you guys could be kind of getting really Flexible. I did that a lot. Voltage regulators. I found ones that were very similar that I could drop in and replace. Um, you might want to do the same thing for tariffs. If you're going to get hit with a 10, 25 percent, you know, maybe it doesn't matter for you know a 25 cent part, but it does add up. Um, and if you're getting more expensive components or sensors, and we're talking about you know three, five, uh, ten dollar sensors, um, 10, 20 percent is you know that will really change your bill of material cost and put you out of budget. Um, as I was looking at these, you know, I did notice, like I said, some families like this TMP211 was affected, but then these NXP sensors weren't. It, it really does seem like where did this particular variant get fab? And I'll also say, you know, I'm, I'm not a chip company, but if I was NXP or TI, I would probably have multiple packaging locations. I'd have multiple places to get my silicon, multiple places that do packaging and um, you know, have them spread out. So if there is instability globally or you know, there's a typhoon or an earthquake or political instability, not all my products are you know, in that one basket. Um, but as I was looking, you know, this one, what's funny is that normally, you know, I just go with the cheapest, but because you know, the least expensive, maybe if I went with this one, you know, these ones are 18 cents, but around the 26 cent, you know, 47 cent 
range, given that these have tariffs, and so it would be 10% more, um, you know, even though this one is a little bit more expensive, like two cents, you know, the Sincerian sample I was, or uh, sensor seemed like a good option, also had the highest accuracy. So I think right now, if I was gonna get a I squared C sensor, ironically, the cheapest one is not the cheapest. Um, you'd pick up this one and you wouldn't have to pay a tariff. Also, you know, like I said, you can check off that, you know, don't show any tariffed items, but I think what you just have to do is, um, as you're purchasing, because DigiKey doesn't add the tariff into the cost for you, because it depends on where you're shipping it to, you pretty much have to add it to the cart and then look and see what your charge is. It, is it 10? Is it 20? Is it 45%? Because um, again, it will vary a lot based on what HTS code the product is under and here, you know, here's the code and you can look up this code in um, the US government like tariff schedule and they'll tell you what it's supposed to be charged. But like I said, it's changing day by day. Anyways, but this is a great sensor. I think, you know, wide range, negative 40 to 40 uh, to 125C uh, works at 3.3 volts, 16 bit resolution and um, half a degree centigrade of uh, accuracy. So um, I don't know, I like Sincerian sensors. I like this, the STS-4L. That's right, Church. Where is